Blender, Ogoth, Blender, S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier. Or do we create its own Blender tier? <laughs> now, let's be honest, guys. Blender is an S tier. It's definitely an S tier. Like, Blender is really, really, really freaking good. And this is from a guy that's been using Maya for 13 years now. So, Blender is really freaking good. You can pretty much do a lot of the things that you normally do in the um, in the 3D world inside of Blender. You can model, you can sculpt, you can simulate, you get geometry nodes, you get renders, you can do... I've seen people like program games in there. There's people doing these crazy things with 3D print where they generate parameters and they can like dynamically create models for trays and things. It's just freaking crazy. Blender is freaking crazy. However, however, I'm going to say something here that's going to be definitely... Um, uh, what's the word? Again, the... It's going to generate some discussion. The one thing that I don't lo love about Blender is that Blender, due to the way that it works, requires a lot of plugins, okay? So stock Blender, I would probably place it on the A tier. Again, this is my opinion. Stock Blender, I would probably place it on the A tier. However, Blender, by adding a lot of, like, plugins such as Retopo Flow, such as like the crowd generator, such as adding a bunch of different things makes it really, really, really good. Some of those plugins, you might need to pay for it. And that's where it's kind of like League of Legends, right? Like I've mentioned this before. People say, oh, League of Legends is free. Yeah, it's free. But then how much money have you actually spent on skins, right? Well, the same thing happens with Blender. You say, oh, Blender is free. Yeah, it is free. But how much have you spent on plugins? Because I know people have, that have spent hundreds of dollars on different plugins and packs and materials and things for Blender. And at that point, you might have been able to buy a license for Maya or for other softwares, right? So it's not that it's, um, what's the word? I hope you get paid to advertise on the site. <laughs> I hope so, man. Um, I got so many ads right now. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so yeah, Blender is definitely an S tier, guys. Um, just keep in mind that it needs a lot of, uh, a couple of other things to really get the best out of it. Uh, but that says, good thing is that most of the plugins are one-time buy. You buy them. Yeah, yeah, you do. That, that's, that's definitely, that's definitely a B tier for Blender. Yeah, so yeah, Blender is definitely a good software, guys. You you know, guys, you know, I love Blender. I even have a course about Blender. So if you want to learn Blender, there's a course on the site. Um, I'm not against Blender. Just keep in mind, uh, it, it has been winning a lot more uh, room on the on the market share. So more and more studios are using Blender. During the Game Fest, did you guys see this? Did you guys see the Summer Game Fest? Uh, there was a Gundam game that they announced. I don't remember what it was. There we go. We should be able to find it here. So there was a Gundam game that they announced. Uh, where is it? This one. Mecha, Mecha Break? Yeah, it was this one. Mecha Break. So they announced this game, the Mecha Break game, and during the trailer, there were a couple of shots where they were showing the construction of the elements, and it was done in Blender. They did the modeling in Blender, they did the rigging in Blender, they did the animations in Blender, so that was very cool. So, so yeah, definitely Blender being used more and more in the industry, which is very, very cool, I would say. Um, just keep in mind that, and that's, if I could give you guys an advice about softwares, is never, um, my, uh, an old teacher used to say, never get yourself married to a software, like, Right now, most of the industry uses Maya and Blender, but in 10 years, there could be a new contender with new tools and new things. And you as an artist should be able to be smart enough to be like, hey, this actually is doing things better than the softwares that I normally use. Let's make the switch because the, the software is not going to own you anything, right? You are the one who's using the software. So so don't get yourself attached too much to a software. And, and the thing that you should do is just keep improving as an artist and use whatever software is out there that allows you to do your best possible uh, work, right? So, is it a good option to switch to Maya to Blender for modeling? Again, if you're already modeling in Blender and you're good modeling in Blender, there's no need for you to jump into Maya. But if there's something in Maya that you cannot do in Blender, then that might be something that you want to, to analyze. Aron Felipe, what's up, man? All good, man, all good. Happy to see you back. Um, ba -ba -ba. The same thing is with Maya. If you're doing rigging, then please pay 50 for skinning add-on because the default Maya. Yeah, yeah, there's, a, of course, yeah. And, and, and that's what I was, uh, like, mentioning. Like, you, you should always, as an artist, you should always look for the tools and the elements that are going to allow you to do a better work or a better job, right? Do you use the Maya industry standard on Blender via preferences? No, I learned the Blender keys. 
It would because um, that's a good advice. When when you're learning a software, I recommend learning the stock things for the software because if you adapt to the other things and then you go with someone th who has been using the software by default, it's going to be very difficult to communicate, right? So imagine I have a, I don't know, a, a peer that works in Blender and I work in Maya, but I need to use Blender and I set Blender to behave like Maya and then my peer needs to come to my computer and help me with something I'm struggling. He is going to struggle and we're going to have to bring everything back to Blender so that he can work and it's just a mess. So it's better if you just learn the, the basics. Very good. Uh, I'm not sure why I have two Blender <laughs> elements right here, so 